Hi, I'm Steve Brown, President of the Commemorative Air Force. The short film you're about to watch is an amazing history that began over 50 years ago when a group of men decided to save the aviation heroes of our past from the smelters. So watch now as you see how the CAF keeps these airplanes flying. Standing down beside the Rio Grande A mythical commander beckons with a ghostly hand Like the old and fabled Phoenix They'll rise to fly again To perpetuate the spirit of the peace they helped to win They rose to fight at Schweinfurt, Pearl Harbor and Cologne They filled the skies of Britain Floesty and that stone, they pour intrepid airmen across in battle skies. The legend of their conquest enshrined in history lies. Ghost Squadron, Ghost Squadron, gallant planes and valiant men, gallant planes and valiant men. World War II marked a period of history unequaled in its impact on humanity. It was a time when ordinary people united to protect and defend their freedom and rose to the extraordinary challenge needed to defeat the destructive forces of a world at war. In the struggle for freedom and the ultimate victory in World War II, the airplane played a major role. The restored aircraft of World War II provided us with a unique insight into that extraordinary conflict. Time passed. Heroes grew old. Memories began to fade. A worn-out warbird would make its last flight to a remote airstrip. The switches were turned off. The engines forever silenced. Stripped of all armament and instruments and salvaged for their copper wiring, the once proud warbird was stripped to a skeleton. No longer were the voices of its aircrew to be heard or the record of its missions proudly displayed upon its side. War weary and forgotten, after escaping terrifying attacks by enemy planes and dodging flak, it became nothing more than scrap and was shipped off to the smelter to become rows of common, ordinary aluminum ingots. This was the final chapter and sad fate for all but a few of the aircraft that fought so proudly and valiantly and ultimately survived the terrible air battles of the war. After World War II, there were so many aircraft that were surplused that there was no conscious effort made to keep a historical inventory of these great warbirds. Not even the U.S. Air Force or Navy was interested in keeping the memory of these incredible aircraft alive as a legacy to future generations. In 1957, the war had been over for 12 years when Lloyd Nolan and a small group of ex-service pilots from the Rio Grande Valley in Texas pooled their money to purchase a P-51 Mustang. At this time, none of them realized that they had just set in motion the steps that would lead to the world's most complete collection of flying World War II aircraft. The group dubbed themselves in jest, the Confederate Air Force, and one by one, others interested in restoring these war-weary aircraft joined the organization. In 1960, only 15 years after the end of a war in which America had produced nearly 300,000 airplanes, almost all were gone. What started out as a hobby turned into an urgent mission to preserve history. Today, the CAF, renamed the Commemorative Air Force, is comprised of over 8,000 members, several hundred of whom serve as pilots and flight or maintenance crew members committed to preserving American aviation heritage. The CAF operates the world's largest fleet of historic combat aircraft. There are over 150 planes in the fleet with 89 different types. 
Known as the Ghost Squadron, these planes reside in over 75 CAF wings and squadrons across the nation and in some foreign countries. At any given time, approximately 100 of these planes are actual flying museums. The remainder are in restoration or maintenance. The CAF fleet includes many notable and extremely rare aircraft from World War II and the more modern aircraft from the Korean and Vietnam War era. Among the rare World War II warbirds in the fleet are the only remaining flyable Boeing B-29 Super Fortress bomber and the Curtis SB-2C Helldiver carrier-based dive bomber. The CAF inventory also includes an original Japanese Mitsubishi A6M3-0 carrier-based fighter and a Russian I-16 Polycarpov fighter. These aircraft are all flown regularly in support of the CAF mission. The CAF is distinguished from other aircraft museums in that its primary objective is to bring the lessons of history to the public and to restore, maintain, and fly these historic aircraft. The CAF believes that in order to truly appreciate these rare aircraft, they must be operational rather than just a static display that is occasionally dusted off. CAF aircraft literally become flying museums, thrilling millions across our nation with the sights and sounds of yesteryear. The year 1991 marked the beginning of a new era for the CAF, with the opening of the new Midland, Texas headquarters and museum facilities. The Air Power Heritage Museum, a nationally accredited museum affiliated with the Smithsonian Institution, shares a rich history with CAF. As the CAF began to grow, numerous World War II artifacts have been donated. The displays change quarterly, so there is always something new to see. The museum also houses the largest single collection of authentic World War II aviation nose art. Cut by firemen's axes and chainsaws from the fuselages of derelict Army Air Force bombers awaiting demolition in 1946, these fine examples of American folk art show how our servicemen personalized the aircraft upon which their lives depended during World War II. A new museum is constructed to house the World War II Ground Transportation Vehicles Museum that will include the largest memorial in Texas to Medal of Honor recipients. 14 to 20 CAF aircraft are always on display at the American Air Power Heritage Museum. Each fall for over 40 years, the CAF has preserved the heritage of historic aviation at its annual air show. Held at CAF headquarters in Midland, Texas, warbirds gather to reenact many of World War II's most historic battles. Recognized as one of the country's premier aviation events, Air Show is a fitting tribute to those who fought for and secured America's freedom. For over 50 years now, the CAF has been an all-volunteer organization made up of members from all walks of life. Membership is open to all men and women age 18 or older. You don't have to be a veteran or a pilot to join the CAF. The only requirement is a love and appreciation of these historic aircraft. Join us today and help us in our efforts to honor America's legacy of freedom. Thanks for watching. As you can see, our organization is a membership full of patriots. These members want to take care of these airplanes to keep them flying for generations to come. So we hope that you'll help us. The Colonel that's here today is here to ask for your help, either as a member of the Commemorative Air Force or through a financial donation. Either way, however you help us, you'll help us keep these airplanes flying.